It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. Welcome to the Line Makers on Sporting News. I'm Micah Roberts. With me is Kenny White. We got a big battle in the SEC. Florida welcoming Mississippi. And Kenny, let me ask you about Mississippi because they're a team that came on uh, undefeated early on in the SEC play. Not a lot of competition, but the Kentucky loss over the week, did that kind of expose some uh, things that we had some concerns about with Mississippi's team? Uh, well, Micah, confidence is such a fragile thing. And Mississippi was playing at such a high level of confidence, 7-0 in conference, but the schedule they played was weak. I think they've now been exposed, and they're exposed to themselves as well, mm -hmm. that they know they're not as good as they thought they were. Really tough to now bounce back against a good Florida team. Now, we got uh, Marshall Henderson's been leading the way all season long. A terrific season, averaging 19 points a game. But he's only shooting 38% from the field, 35% from three-point range. Gets to the free throw line, makes about 87% of his free throws there. But against Kentucky, we saw the agility and the speed of the Wildcats, the size. Uh, they gave him some trouble, and Florida is a team that might be able to do that as well. Well, Kentucky will give a lot of people trouble because they're, they're very, very athletic. Uh, but the Florida Gators are athletic and experienced on their home court. They are doing things that we've never seen before in college basketball. They just dismantled a pretty good South Carolina team yes. that has been coming along and getting better week by week, and they beat them by 39. Without even an effort, it seemed like this is – one team that's number two in offensive efficiency, number one in defense efficiency. Hard to get much better than that. And we're looking at a Florida team that is 12 and 12-4 against the spread this season. Their first seven games in conference play, they beat their opponents by 15 points or more. Now, the last time that happened by any team in college basketball, dear to our hearts, UNLV Rebels 1991. Didn't end like we wanted on that season, but it shows you the dominance that Florida has uh, been playing with in conference play. Now, the number, Kenny... We're looking at anywhere from, I guess, 13, 13 and a half point spread. It seems a bit inflated, but by the way Florida's playing right now, it's probably a little low. Yeah, you look at the Florida scores and you'll start to realize it's not inflated. Mississippi just lost by 13 on their home floor to the best team that they played this year, Kentucky, and now they're off to Florida. I think it's a lack of confidence. The Gators, the way they're playing and clicking on all cylinders right now, Micah, they're the best team in the country. They could win this game by 20. So if you find a number cheaper than 13, there's a lot of value there. And another number you want, might want to look at is the total here. Uh, 80 points a game by Mississippi. You know, we expect them to be down in this game, but they're going to keep firing. So maybe the total might be a little too low here. We're looking at Gators and the over. 